All right, we're going to do section five, which is adjustments. So instead of calibration, they just call it adjustments. And uh, we're going to need a voltage standard, an AC calibrator, a DC power supply, a multimeter, a resistor box, and a resistor. So hopefully we've got all that stuff. And looks like there's six pages of adjustments. So uh, hopefully this won't take too long. Let's see here. What do we need to do now? Blah, 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 disconnect things, yada, 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 yada. Uh, let it warm up. It's been turned on all last night. Uh, let's see. Test points, adjustment procedures. Make sure it's set for AC power operation, not battery. It is. And uh, it's been warmed up. And we want to do things in the following order. One. Plus 7 volt power supply adjustment R717. Okay, oh, these are just, we need to do 13 steps. So, step number one uh, set to DC volts, which it is. Uh, adjustment procedure. Following procedure adjusts the plus 7 and checks other things. Connect the high input. Uh, connect the high input of the test voltmeter. Oh, that's our voltmeter to the pad, and then adjust R seven one seven for plus seven. That sounds easy enough. Uh, now we need to find the test locations. I think there's a diagram here. Yeah, this shows this shows where all the test locations are. Uh, seven volt adjust is is there, so yeah, let's get to it. Let me uh, let me rearrange the camera. All right, I'm gonna connect ground, and I'm gonna go measure plus seven, and it's measuring uh, six nine two. Let's see. Uh, now I need an adjuster. Let me get a. Let me get an adjustment tool here. Uh, sorry. All right. Plus seven. Oops. Yeah, it's going up. There we go, plus seven zero zero two. I see that's close enough. All right. Um, okay. Using the test meter, check the power supply voltages. Now we get to check the minus seven. Uh, let's see, the minus seven was here. It's now measuring minus 707. Uh, that's within spec. And then two and a, minus two and a half. Six, that's within spec. Plus three, if we have a battery. Uh, we don't have a battery. Skip that one. And then plus five is here. And that's measuring 5008. Very, very good. All right, so that's all, that's all adjusted. We do not have the battery option. Okay, so now we need to charge. Okay, uh, this is the charge voltage for the battery. We don't care about that. Uh, now we need to adjust the input amplifier and post amplifier zero. All right, so we're going to set it to the DC plus AC volts function set. That's kind of funny. The DC plus AC volts function, that's kind of odd. Why does it say that? Connect a short across the terminals. Let's see, I have a short over here somewhere. Right, 
right, I have a shirt because I've done this before <laughs> on other things. Uh, let's see here. Connect the shirt, so I will do that now. On the front panel. All right, I have a short. Uh, connect the test multimeter to jumper J101. Now we need to figure out where J101 is. Get on the board. Oh, here it is. J101. Right here. All right. Adjust for zero volts. Adjust R152. So now we need to figure out where R152 is. R, let's see, R152, R, R406, R602, R151. Where's R151? If we need to take, I don't think you need to take this all out. Hmm. Or 602. Ah, here we go. R152, it's actually labeled too. And this is number, this is great. So we're working through the manual. And so we did step one. There's a one here next to where we adjust. And then there's a step two here. So we adjust this one. So this is gonna be super trivial now that we know the secret. And now that I just dropped my adjuster. All right. Let's adjust, adjust this one for zero. This is a tiny, tiny little adjuster. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Two. Uh, connect the test multimeter jumper 201. Okay, this must be step three. And we're gonna adjust 205. Number three. 205, it's back here. Now we need to find the test location. Okay. Connect the, to jumper 201. Now we need to know where jumper 201 is. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. My clip lead was in the way. All right. Adjust 205 for zero. All right. 205, this is our three. Adjust our 205. 205 says it's right here, but there is nothing there. Oh dear. 205. Might be this one in the back here. 205. Might be that one in the back. Yes, I think, I think that one's back there. I think this is 205 here. There we go. Okay, zero volts. All right, disconnect the meter from the instrument, okay. Okay, now we're going to adjust 19k ohms. Uh, the following procedure calibrates. Do the following. Set the to ohms function. Okay, ohms. And the 20k ohms range, okay. Set the d divider box to 19k ohms. So I need to get a divider box. Okay, 19. 19, I believe, is 19K. 19K. So, I believe this is 19K. Let's check it with our, sorry. Let's check it with our other voltmeter. Make sure we are really... 19k and we are 19k all right now we need to hook it to the input i suppose let's see let's get a connector for that All right, and it's measuring 18.98. That's pretty good. Okay, so adjust R416. We're on step uh, step four, so step four is here. One, four, one, six, okay. So we're gonna adjust this to 19. Nineteen oh oh three, nineteen oh oh one. There we go. Nineteen point oh oh oh. Perfect. Okay. Um, set it to the twenty ohms range. Twenty. 
20 ohms and set the divider box to zero ohms. Okay. Sets to zero. Okay. Adjust R926. R926. Which one is R926? That might be the front panel. I think that's the front panel. So let's adjust that to, to zero. Okay, that's now zero. Uh, then we set it to 19. And I think that's 109, 19 would be here. There we go, 18.9 ohms. Then we adjust R406, which is this one for 19 ohms. A little touch here, 19003, 19002, 19001, and 18998. There we go, 19002. Call that good. All right, then we set it to the 20 megohm range. 20 megohms, wow. Okay, 20 megohm range and set your resistor box to 10 megohms. Does this do 10 megohms? I don't know if it does. Let's see, let's go here to 10. It does one megohm. I don't think it does 10 megohms. Well, we'll do one megohm. Well, that's pretty darn close. It's 999, hmm. Just for the 20, I'm going to call that one good. Uh, let's see here. Then disconnect the decade box. Now we're going to do some voltages. Um, all right. 19 volts. There are two adjustments to this procedure. A 19 volt fine adjustment and a 19 volt coarse adjustment. The fine is normally performed to calibrate. The course is only performed if something is wrong. All right, so we need a standard, so 19 volts, okay. Set to DC volts. All right, let's move back over here. Let's see what's going on. All right, we'll set that to 19 volts. Uh, let's see, okay, set it to DC volts in 20 volt range, okay. Uh, set the standard for 19 volt output. All right. Uh, 19 volts. So, I'm going to be using... Uh, You can see that over there. We're using this, so 10 volt, 19 volts. 19 volts, there we go. Okay. All right, oh, it's measuring 18.988. All right. So we have our 19 volts coming in. Uh, let's see, let's check it with our six and a half digit voltmeter, make sure our 19 is 19. And our 19, oh, let's see here, DC volts. We are bringing in 18.99, 18. uh, yeah. 19 volts. Okay, 8.99. Well, that actually is 
measuring exactly the same as the other the other meter. Oops. 18.994 and this meter's measuring 18.99. So I think it's in spec, so we won't touch that one. Okay. Uh, if it's good, disconnect the DC standard and continue with paragraph 532. Okay, 532. Now we need to do a two volt DC offset. It says, do this adjustment if the input hybrid has been replaced. Uh, it has not been replaced, so I don't think we need to do this one. All right. That was step there. Okay. Okay. Now we need to do zero input DC adjustment. Do the following. Set to DC volts function. Let's see. DC volts function and the 20 millivolt range. 20 millivolts. Connect to short. All right, here's our short. And adjust on the rear panel for zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're at zero, zero, three. All right, there's a, there's a DC adjustment way in the back here uh, that you can use to zero off anything. There we go, zero volts. Um, Adjust, all right, AC volts, all right, equipment. So now we need AC volts. Hmm, this is going to be trickier. All right, I need to figure out where I can find AC volts. I think, I think I know how to do that. All right, set the to AC volts function. Um... and 20 volt range. Okay. Set the calibrator for AC volts, 20, uh, 19, I mean. All right, so now we need 19 volts AC. 19 volts AC. Okay, I think I'm gonna be able to do that with a variac. And so let's get that set up. All right. So I've got my Variac set to 19 volts, and now we need to get it into the instrument. So, All right, we are measuring a little low, 18.9. All right, and we're inputting 19.1 right now. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> 19 volts, adjust R102. Okay. And we will adjust this for one. Uh, one oh two. Did I just grab the wrong one? Eleven. R one oh two. It is not adjusting. I don't know why. I think because I'm inputting 60 hertz, it's not, it's not happy. All right, we'll try it a different way, but adjust for 19 volts, set it to two volts. All right, so, all right. So the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a function generator to do this. So I have a function generator that should output 19 volts, I think. So 
So here, it's at 200 hertz. So frequency, frequency, we will go to 200 hertz. We have sine wave, and now we just need to measure to measure things here. Output AC volts seventeen amplitude. Let's see, that's not. That is not working. I need to disconnect this. Turn that off. All right. All right. Amplitude. Uh, this thing. There we go, five volts. I could get up to 12 volts. Uh, I think it won't go any farther than that. So let's give this a try. We have uh, 11.93 going in, and it's measuring 11.8. So let's try to adjust that, 11.93. Yeah, this is just not adjusting AC. That's kind of strange, I don't know why. And 12. Measuring pretty close. Twelve. Ten kilohertz. Okay, then it says uh, do two calibrator one point nine volts at ten kilohertz. So let's do that. Frequency 10 kilohertz. Uh, frequency. All right, 10 kilohertz. Close enough. And I wanted 1.9 volts. And so we need to monitor that. 1.9 volts. Okay, amplitude. All right, 1.9, 1.92 volts, close enough. All right, let's give that a try. Nine two and. 1.92, perfect. It's measuring uh, spot on. Very nice. All right, AC works. And now we need to do uh, one amp DC adjustment. One ohm resistor, one amp. So this one says power supply through one, let's see, connect, set the DC function amps, okay, DC function milliamps to 1000 milliamps. 
one ohm resistor and set for one. Okay, so we need one volt, one ohm, we get one amp. All right, or some other way to get one amp. So I think we can change things around a bit here. All right, my uh, tester will output uh, will output one hundred milliamps. So let's give that a try first. So let's go here, and it's measuring ninety nine point three. So that's pretty darn good. Uh, ninety nine point three. So I think I'm going to call it done for what it is and what it needs to be used for. This thing is definitely within let's see here, DC power supply. All right. R660 R660 Oops, sorry. Whoa. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and run it through some voltages. Uh, I ten volts. There we go. And let's put it on auto. Look at that, all right. 10 volts, two volts, very nice. One volt, very nice. Five volts, very nice. All right, let's go down to half a volt, perfect. 50 volts, perfect. Yeah, this thing's working a treat. All right, so there you go. Um, is it a perfect calibration? No. Is it a good calibration? Yes. Is it, is it really, really good for your garage? Yes. <laughs> it's certainly, certainly within spec for the garage. Um, yeah. I'll button it up, send it back to my friend. I'm sure he'll be very pleased with it.